Good morning. It is Monday morning, December 5th, and we have started Vlogmas. So, number one, I had a peel last Tuesday, um, so just in case you guys see any peeling or anything like that, I am almost a week out. So tomorrow I should be finishing with the peel. But I want to go ahead and intro, welcome, welcome, or welcome. I am very excited to attempt Vlogmas. I asked you guys if I should do Vlogmas and you said, yeah. So we're going to try again. We are going to be doing like two to three days at a time, not every day, just because I work a lot and every day is a lot for me. Um, so I feel like two to three days makes a little more sense just for viewing purposes. And I am interested to see how long they'll be. Some may be shorter, some may be longer, but we will be doing two to three days for Vlogmas. Very excited. I have started before. I have never successfully finished like a lot of YouTubers. So that's what we're getting into. It is very early, so I am comfortable. Y'all know, especially when I work from home or like run errands, this is what it's giving. Um, that's my alarm. So yes, it is, like I said, Monday, December 5th. I wanted to start last week. I had a whole plan. Last Monday, I was going to um, change my intro and do this and do that. And I had these errands playing and this really cute stuff. But and I won't get into it a lot, but Taffy and I were attacked by a dog last Monday and it just changed the whole trajectory of my week. You see her little cone and she has some little stitches. I know I gotta hold your legs. So like I said, I won't get into detail too much. Maybe later down the road, I will do like a story time. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw like early Monday morning, we were both attacked and bitten by a dog. So I ended up spending last week um, in urgent cares and pet hospitals and that kind of stuff and just trying to care for her and all that kind of stuff versus vlogging and documenting my week. So we are starting the week fresh. She's never in my kitchen, so let me get her out of here. <laughs> We are we are starting the week fresh and we're doing this again. We're trying again. So this is officially the beginning of our vlogmas. Like I said, I'm up early about to eat my breakfast. I've been doing chlorophyll every morning in my water and I really love and I like the taste of it because I have liquid chlorophyll. It has like some mint in it. I get mine right off Amazon. It's in my Amazon store and I'm doing citrus for breakfast. So I have my grapefruit. I'll be picking up my meal prep later, which is a kale salad this week. I am transitioning or planning to transition to like vegetarian. So first quarter, my friend and I are doing pescatarian, which I've done and I'm a seafood person. So that's easy. Then we're doing vegetarian. So I'm just trying to like wean myself out of feeling like meat has to be in every meal already. So I'm prepping. I just got kale salad this week for prep and I'm going to do that as salads and wraps and things like that. Maybe even on a taco with some fish. So that's the plan. I'm gonna do my breakfast and I think I have some green juice. Yes. I have some suja green juice. It tastes like plants. Not one that tastes good, but it does what I need to do and gets the job done. So yeah. A little bit of a chaotic start to Vlogmas. I would have loved to be in like in front of my tree with my Christmas outfit on and doing the things, but life be life in. So this vlogmas is very much gonna be life lifing so let's get it started and also broke my nails because of the situation but we're gonna get everything handled this week hair handled nails handled uh pedicure handled all that stuff also be done but just know we're starting very realistic okay welcome to me on monday morning <laughs> hey y'all i'm back home as you can see first of all i'm probably i'm feeling very heavily um we're going coming up on like the last day or tomorrow probably will be my last day of peeling. Hopefully because I have to go to Taco Tuesday tomorrow and I don't necessarily have to wear makeup, but this is just more peeling than I anticipated. But I'm back home. I didn't vlog a lot today during the daytime because A, I had a ton of work to do. Like I said, I'm playing catch up from last week um, with everything that happened and also just from taking off time for Thanksgiving. So I feel like I just was really, really working today and really had to focus. But I just got a box in from Dossier. I'm going to open that. I'll do a reel or something about this. I am doing like some partnership stuff with them. But I'm just excited because I ordered this from Black Friday. Outside of this is like not even the sponsored stuff. This is literally I paid my money for this. So I'm very excited to. 
open this for dossier. So we're gonna be doing a little mini unboxing kind of thing. Let me get my phone because I do want to be able to tell y'all what perfumes or what. So hopefully, Candace, while you're editing this, gosh, my face. If you've already been watching me, you've seen my face peel, so you're not as like terrified by what's happening, but I know it can be jarring, especially to have my first day of vlogging be my face peeling, but I didn't want to put it off any longer. I feel like I'm already a week behind for vlogmas. Enough is enough. Hey Siri, go to dossier.com. So I ordered, uh, I think my sister and I actually ordered together, but I think I ordered six total. So one that I always get, always, always, always get is, oh, well if you don't know about Dossier, I'll link it right here, but Dossier is basically a um, online, like they sell perfumes and candles, but mainly with perfumes, colognes as well, unisex scents and things like that. And they make amazing, this is not sponsored for this part of the video. They just make really amazing, inspired by like designer brand perfumes. And maybe two years ago, I put on my big girl pants and really got into scents because before I would have some perfumes, but I wasn't like that like worried about it. But once I started buying perfumes, I was obsessed, like obsessed. So now I'm here where I have literally a box of perfumes. The one that I know, I know, I know, I love is Ambery Saffron. And that's in my haul that I linked somewhere. Ambery Saffron is literally like inspired by heavily Baccarat, which you know Baccarat is like, how much a bottle? Baccarat is, I'm looking on the website now. Yeah, Baccarat's three hundred dollars a bottle, and every time I wear Ambry Saffron, every time somebody go, "Are you wearing Baccarat?" So got that. So the first one I got, Ambry Vanilla, and this is like YSL. This is inspired by YSL Black Opium. Let me see. Oh, so I'm a musky, I'm a musky, ambery, leathery kind of girl when it comes to perfumes. Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is Ambry Vanilla. Why is so opium? I'm obsessed with that already. I can already tell. Like date night, that's a really good evening scent. I don't like really floral. I don't like really like flowery kind of stuff. This one is Musky Musk. This is actually my sister's. This is closest to Juliet Has a Gun, which um, not Juliet Has a Gun, not perfume, which I have never smelled this one. Oh, she's gonna like that. This literally smells like her. She's gonna like that. So far, our favorite is Ambery Vanilla, the YSL Black Opium. Boom. And I do have a dossier discount code or maybe active right now. Either way, I'll put that in the description box um, so you guys can use that. This is Chanel Blue. I think this is my sister's too. Ooh, I think this is for my brother-in-law. Oh, I hope you're not watching this. Don't watch it, because you just found out part of your gift. Um, citrus Ginger. Honestly, I wear cologne sometimes, or unisex scent, so, like I have Tom Ford, um, fucking fabulous, and that, literally, that's the name, and that's unisex, but I like it, so I, I do different, I do colognes and perfumes and unisex scents. This is, oh, this is one of mine. This is Woody Oak Moss, which is similar to Mademoiselle by Chanel. I have Chanel Chance. So this is, oh, this was like daytime. This is Chanel um, Mademoiselle. It's probably as close as I will get to a stereotypically feminine smell. Probably the closest I will get to like truly flowery smell. And I say that because they smell different on everybody. Some perfumes smell great on some people. And for me, on me, flowery perfumes make me smell like an old woman. I literally smell like a deaconess when I wear something flowery. So it just isn't my jam. Ambry Saffron. This is the Baccarat. Let me see. 
It's just so good. I cheated myself for a long time. And this isn't saying, you know, that other companies aren't great. I don't know. I started with Dossier and I fell in love. And the pricing is amazing. They do bundles. Like when you buy a certain number, you start getting discounts. So it just literally, there's no reason for me to purchase anything else. Okay, and this is another Mademoiselle. So I have Chanel Mademoiselle, YSL Black Opium, and Baccarat. And then I also am trying, which I have on the way, because sometimes I get them. And this seems like, well, that's a lot of perfumes. But honestly, they all feel like a certain event or they all have a certain smell to me. Um, and... I will literally be like, okay, I'm going to brunch today. This one smells like brunch. Like this one makes sense. Or this one smells like date night. So I definitely say get a lot of different ones because you never know and you want to be able to choose. Okay, so I went with Woody Sage. Woody Sage. Joe Malone Sage and Seesaw. I haven't got that one yet, but I'm really excited to try that. And Ambery Cedarwood, which is... Alien, Mugler's Alien, which I have heard good things about that too. So I'll make sure I do all these in a reel, kind of with descriptives, but I definitely want to just do a little unboxing for y'all today. I also have a sheet in package that I think I had to get delivered to my friend's house because it's not here, but it says delivered. Um, that is a pretty big haul and that's going to be coming up too. I might actually just put that in as like a vlogmas video, but I have a sheet in video that's coming in too. And I gotta plan some more. I wanna see who to order from. I've heard a lot about cider. I've seen that company popping up a lot of places. I always look at Opali. So I might do one from them. I'm just trying to figure out who I wanna do hauls from. Because it's holiday time and while I probably should be gift shopping, I am just regular shopping. So what can you do? But yeah, I think that's it. Taffy, Taffy stop that. She's wearing a cone and she literally is like trying to fight herself out of it. That's a Monday. It's raining so bad here in Atlanta and it's really giving relax in the house the rest of the day. Cause I have a long day tomorrow too. Uh, like I said, I have to do Taco Tuesday last, but I think I have to do like some pulling. I'm helping style for a magazine cover. So I have to do that. So just trying to prepare for that and probably see what other Christmas stuff I need to put up. I went to Five Below. Five Below has great, they're always great for holidays. When, five, when holidays start, go to Five Below because they're going to have good deals. So these are some holiday socks that I got Taffy and I that are matching. Also hates the holiday socks. When I tell y'all I buy this stuff for her, it's not because she enjoys it. It's because I'm trying to convince her to. And then, let me see. I got this t-shirt, not necessarily for Christmas Day, but just like, I don't know if Blue wants to do like Christmas cookies or something like that the night before. It's just like these crisscrossed um, lights and it says I'm fine, everything is fine. I just think that's funny. I don't know why my humor is dark sometimes I feel like during Christmas like people are gonna be checking on me like hey girl just checking on me haven't seen you since you know since the, the, I mean, everything is going down or haven't seen you this year and I just feel like it's just funny to have a shirt that says I'm fine everything is fine it's fine and I got this shirt to match me for Taffy they have some shirts with like elf on it and Grinch and stuff and I'll probably get those if I do some of these cute little pop-up bars but I just thought this was cute for Taffy and then just some lights. I didn't want anything too overtly like Merry Christmas on the shirt, but we needed something to attend a little friend's holiday party or something too. So that's that. So let me get up. I'm gonna make something to eat. I've been big on these sushi bowls lately. I'm gonna make that and then I guess we'll see what we get into if we do anything else today. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. A nice rainy, cloudy day in Atlanta. Um, I am, you can really see the progression of my peel. I, woke up to get a morning workout in in the house i actually froze my gym membership for like november december just because i was traveling so much and working so much um so i froze it and was just going to be using like my gym in my complex and then my like gym stuff at home because i do have a peloton all that kind of stuff so i woke up this morning to do a home workout especially because i can't leave taffy alone right now so i woke up to do that but the joys of motherhood, I realized that I need to go take Taffy to the urgent care again to have something looked at. So that's where we're on the way to now. Um, hopefully it's a short visit. I know she's like, I'm tired of this. 
um hopefully it's a short visit because i do want to go ahead and like do my workout get my day started i have some stuff like i said as far as pulling for the magazine cover today and then taco tuesday night so i want to get my day started and get my work done and get my like productive stuff done so i can enjoy tonight without thinking about work that i have to do but that's what we're doing now i i'm such a structured and such a schedule oriented person that like waking up and having to do something unexpected or last minute or seemingly stressful because who likes to go to the doctor especially unexpectedly it's stressful like it's stressing me out and you know what i'm not gonna say it stress me out the rain also is not helping but it's a great day i'm really working on telling myself like it's a good day because you say it is so that's what we're doing now uh, i've been to this urgent care a lot with her in the last week so they know us so they're probably just gonna be like that's taffy what's going on like uh, what happened now so why are we focusing so that's what we're doing now but yes let me drive because i have it on a little tripod but people in atlanta can't drive so i need to focus so urgent care here we come so I'm obviously back at home. Taffy is at the urgent care. As I suspected, we had a little bit of issue, so she had to get another procedure. Um, so I headed home so I could like eat breakfast and just try to replan my day. I'm so blessed to have flexible, to have a flexible schedule because some stuff that goes on in adulting i'm like what if i absolutely had to be somewhere like shout out people kids because being a caretaker is a lot but i'm back home um i got another package that just delivered i black friday i don't know if i was in a daze or what but i don't know what else i could have ordered oh you know what i did order these stairs for her because um my couch and stuff she's not able to jump so i ordered these stairs my mom ordered these stairs thank you mom and then a weighted blanket which i've really been wanting to try so maybe that's what it is i've heard a lot of good things about weighted blankets um just general bad sleeping pattern anxiety other kind of stuff and i find myself like checking on her in the middle of the night so my sleeves went even worse so i got a weighted blanket um because i want to see how that is so maybe that's what it is it is raining still so i don't want to walk outside and check it but i'm definitely going to do that and we'll do another little unboxing and then at some point i gotta get dressed and actually leave my house to pull over this magazine cover so hopefully hopefully it's 9 39 right now hopefully i can leave the house by like 11 30 and get my day started and she's going everywhere with me today again because that's what we're doing so once I leave for her, we'll just hit the ground running from here. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that metro house. Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000. Section need more things in here, I like it crowded. Whoa, whoa, yeah, I like it crowded. <sighs> Good morning. Somebody get me together. I vlogged a little bit yesterday. Honestly, yesterday was very impromptu. I ended up, as you saw in the little B-roll, I ended up doing a last minute little lunch. I tried Hattie B's here in Atlanta. It was delicious. Then I went to go get an espresso martini. Also last minute, my new jam. Espresso martinis are my new obsession. Me at 31, I get it. So when I was younger, I would be like, why are they drinking coffee and liquor? But now, Give me an espresso martini and let me take on the day. So I had an espresso martini. I rushed back here, tired from running around, and um, went to Taco Tuesday at a very loud Mexican restaurant with a lot of copyrighted music. So I apologize if that portion of the vlog is a blur. That's why I'm doing Vlogmas, because I need to get back into the content creation swing of things. So bear with me as I try to get my bearings back so that new year 2023 we can hit the ground running with some branding. I'm actually trying to plan branding pictures and stuff like that because I love my pictures with my bob and my little bodysuit but I'm blonde, I'm single, I live in a new place. Like I need to get pictures of the new era and kind of document that and do some new branding and images and stuff. So trying to plan that for 2023 too. 
it's early. I am dressed to work out. Like I said, I took my brought my little Peloton inside the house, so I don't have an excuse to work out. Although we all know I can still make an excuse. Um, and what I'm trying to do, which someone said I'm always in workout clothes anyway, but I still say, you know what, I'm gonna put on my workout clothes. So all I have to do is literally just get on the bike. Get on the bike, let me so put on my podcast and go. No excuses. So that will be done today too. And I gotta get a pedicure. This is one of those weeks where I'm doing a lot of maintenance. So I'm getting my nails fixed, getting my toes done, getting my hair done. Um, but I'm going to do all that today. And then it's Wednesday, so I guess if I'm doing two to three days, then this will be the third day. So I'm going to do better with vlogging today is my theme, is, is the moral of the story. Because that's what we need, that's what we want for me, is to do better. These are the branding pictures that I'm talking about. Y'all have seen these a million times. So I need new ones, because they did what they were supposed to do, but I need to update them. But I learned how to work at home. This is my little work at home. I have a desk. Literally, I have a desk with a desktop and the whole thing. Um, and I still end up using this little like home tray table with my laptop on the couch. Uh, so I'm gonna try to maybe work from the desk today. I do need to get um, a new laptop that's on my Christmas list to myself, a new laptop, so I've been saving up for that. Which is one reason I haven't like replaced my Apple Watch, I'm gonna get my lashes done, just trying to save. Uh, the stuff I mentioned from Amazon, I have to build these today. Look at these little doggy stairs. So Taffy and her little leg cannot jump or go upstairs or anything. So I've got to put these little stairs together for her so she can, you know, make her way around the house. And I got a weighted blanket and I slept with it last night. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I knew the weighted blanket was going to be good and I'm mad that I waited this long. Honestly, I'm mad that I waited this long because I knew it was going to be good and it was great. So, the sleep was good, probably too good, but I'm up now. It's Wednesday, it's hump day, halfway through the week, pushing through towards the end of episode one, is what I'm gonna call it. Not Vlogmas Day 2, but I'm gonna call it episode one. Pushing through. If you made it this far, you really care about me. Y'all really, you really care about me, so. Thank you for working through the chaos. I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. Day, um, working. Oh, I got the steps built. That's what you guys just saw me do. I built the steps, so I gotta figure out how to attach this little cloth. But so this way, my bed is really, really high. That's my ring. My bed is super high. Um, so now she can get up on my bed or get up on the couch easier but i got ugh, my big old package from sheet in so the haul is going to be a skims dupe haul i love skims you guys know i did a little trial video and somebody told me that they had looked on she in like for skims dupes and they were my sister actually was were impressed basically with the dupes that were on there so i said why not do a full haul of skin suits and see what it's really giving. So that's what this is. This is truly multitasking because I took a break to work, from work, but I'm also about to cook my lunch. When I go grocery shopping today, I'm gonna to go grocery shopping like really just for what I'm cooking today, but I'm going to make a like conscious effort to cook more in general. I've kind of just been in like single survival mode when it comes to cooking and I've really just been like, boom, let me throw the salmon in the air fryer real quick. Let me make this rice real fast, put some broccoli with it and go about my day because I've been busy. But I really want to make a effort to cook more and experiment more like I used to do with cooking. And I have to make sure I work on portioning because Sometimes I cook way too much um, for one person, so I just need to make sure I remember that. I ordered a cookbook today, so shout out to 
Shanice because I ordered a vegan cookbook today from Vibes with a Vegan. I'm so excited. So they have a ebook, but they also have a hard copy. I got the hard copy because just like reading books, I know people have Kindles and stuff, but I need, I know I just needed this. I need like a hard, tangible book and I just feel like it'll be cute for me to be in the kitchen, have my book, pick a page and be like, okay, we're taking that on today or that's what we're cooking today. So I'm very excited. This is Adjust, Adjust. So this is their website. This is a cookbook. I'm really excited. So I'm not going vegan, um, but I am doing, I'm transitioning, I'm doing pescatarian in the first quarter of next year and then I'm going vegetarian. I'm not saying vegan yet because of eggs and cheese. I will probably like mix in vegan meals, but I'm not restricting myself completely. But I'm excited for that. And when I was home, I found my grandmother's recipe box. So literally it has like all of her different recipes and stuff in here. So between that and the recipe box, I said maybe like once a week, I'll choose a completely different recipe or I'll choose a completely unique or new recipe or something and like make I like try to uh, master that just to make sure I'm not throwing my stuff in the air fryer and running. And y'all know I get meal prep too, so it's like between those two things, I don't really cook as much as I used to, which I hate because I love cooking. So that is my project. But back to the sheet and stuff. I'm gonna do, like I said, an official haul, but I did wanna maybe just, I'm like, where can I put y'all? Hang my stuff up and just kind of take a peek at it. Normally when I do a haul, I do like to just try it on in the haul because it's just a little bit more realistic. I like to react with y'all. I like to see it with y'all, so. Pink era, I got this pink bodysuit. I used to be, when I was in middle school, this is no lie, no exaggeration, when I was in middle school, I think seventh grade, I wore pink for an entire school year straight. Like, no exaggeration, my language arts teacher actually called me Pinky Lee. Apparently, that's not who you're thinking. Apparently, when she was younger, there was a show, um, and the main character's name was Pinky Lee, but this is giving skims. So that's what she called me, and I feel like Somehow, I don't know if it's the blonde or just the making my apartment really girly because it's just mine. Somehow I've fallen back into my pink era. Hold on. I'm gonna get this salmon together. Literally just talked about, literally just talked about cooking more and I'm making the exact meal I just described, where I'm just cooking a piece of salmon real quick and I'm gonna put it with some rice I already made. More pink, pink era. This actually does remind me of the pink collection she did for Skims and it had like um, kind of the Skims logo all over it. This reminds me of that. I didn't just do the neutral kind of Skims stuff because I do like that pink collection she did. Cute! A little crop jacket shirt kind of thing. Love that. Probably gonna turn my salmon down. Same bodysuit, but I got it in this charcoaly color. It has a little bit of a stain on her. Make sure y'all check y'all stuff. Oh no, she's gotta go back. She has a stain. Y'all gotta re refund this. Man. And I love this too. Oh man. I check bodysuits and stuff because I'm like, especially when I see a stain like that on it, I'm like, did somebody try this on and send it back? Because that's gross. This shirt is. Not necessarily Shein, but I've been needing more, I mean not skims, but I needed more graphic stuff. That's just my go-to, so I just got a quick little graphic shirt. I'll probably do that this weekend, do this haul this weekend because I get my hair and stuff done, so then I'll be a little bit more prepared to do a haul. This must be the dress. This feels, ooh, this is like that slinky material. I love how this feels. So this is a long sleeve black maxi dress. Oh, yes. Y'all know Skims loves like that long. That was a huge trending, that maxi dress from them. Um, I got it long sleeve because it is winter time. So I want to give myself the option with that. Let me turn this down. Ooh, what's this? This was good. Oh, so this is the turtleneck. This is, 
everything and i describe more in the haul everything is a different material like not in a bad way but nothing feels like cotton none of these items feel like regular cotton which i feel like one thing skims is kind of known for is having good materials so that is not to say that th these are bad they're just not like a cotton bodysuit what's this i'm like look some of this sometimes when you order so much stuff you're like what did i buy oh yeah i got this crop sweatshirt sweatpant combo because i love a good two-piece set and i love the sweat set and i have these yeezys these gray and blue yeezys that i think this will look really cute with like an airport outfit or something like that and then last but not least let me get this Trying to make multitask and cook probably is not the best way to do this. Last but not least, I know you guys will recognize this. It's this kind of fleece, three piece lounge set. Super excited for this. It's got the pants, oh, it's just two piece. Oh, it's just the pants and the top. Adding another hanger for that. But that is my little Skims mini, not mini haul, I think that's a decent size haul. So I'll be filming that this weekend. But sneak peek, so keep an eye out for that. Definitely excited to do that, because I've been waiting for that package to come i don't think i have anything else coming this week but i do need to check i need to check and see what is this oh she in okay cool yes i'm gonna eat lunch and then i need to head to get a pedicure because i don't want time to catch me and i end up in any kind of traffic that's what i need to do I got my toes done. They were much needed. I'm really excited because I went to Fresh Market, which if you don't know Fresh Market, it's kind of like a Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, it's more like a Sprouts Whole Foods kind of place. But I went because I'm really excited to cook. I got excited as I was in there because it's just like really fresh and lots of options. I decided I'm gonna do, I cook Asian a lot. So um, I decided I'm going to do Asian. Tonight, I'm gonna do like a salt and pepper shrimp, and uh, I think I'm gonna do some pan fried noodles and steamed broccoli. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with some like peppers and onions. So that's what it's giving tonight. I'm gonna get out of the clothes. I think I'm gonna get out my clothes. I'm going to have Alexa play like some Neo Soul, light my incense, put my apron on. They almost got me for getting wine. Cause it was just like, I was just in there. You know, you're just in Target and you let Target tell you what to get. First market told me I needed to get wine, but I have a lot of tequila and some other like stuff here that I kind of need to drink first. So I did get that, but I did get a red velvet cheesecake ice cream sandwich. I've had a crazy sweet tooth lately and I, I, I never want to leave the house to like get it and I'm not over eating ice cream but it's a chocolate brownie cookie cheesecake flavored ice cream store red velvet cake and cream cheese frosting it's gonna be good so it's very much giving in the house in the city with my glass with my drink cooking i'm really excited though i even feel like i need to make sure i put on a little like a lounge outfit that feels cute so i can make it a cute moment i'm trying to work on romanticizing being in the house and doing things that you might not enjoy like cooking so i even splurged and got the fresh shrimp. You see how small this is. Y'all know right now, groceries are a trillion bajillion dollars. Not sure what Joe is doing, but everything is disgustingly high. But I figured if I'm only cooking every now and then, then I can splurge on like fresh seafood. Plus, if I went to eat, it would cost way more than whatever that shrimp costs. So let me get out of these clothes and then we're gonna start cooking. <laughs> Alexa, next time. 
song? All right, y'all. Dinner was amazing. My ice cream sandwich was amazing. Me and my pink do-rag, I told y'all it's the pink era. I put my do-rag on, it's the end of the night. I'm gonna edit my vlog real quick, get this up. We are gonna start episode two of Vlogmas tomorrow. Hair will be done, nails will be done. All will be well. I will see you guys in the next one.